Taurus, you need to know this right now for April the 4th through April the 5th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for April the 4th through April the 5th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for April the 4th through April the 5th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for April the 4th through April the 5th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. The links are in the description. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus... You have yourself, the Empress, Taurus or Libra. The Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Empress for Taurus. Clarify the Empress. For Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Empress for Taurus. It is clarified with the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups. For Taurus, clarify the King of Cups. For Taurus, Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So, Taurus, you can tell me that you're standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with this person, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Now, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're setting some type of boundaries with this person, and you're trying to master your emotions with doing so. Or, Taurus, you're telling me that you have a great deal of love for this person, and it's you wanting to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Taurus, you have the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess. For Taurus, clarify the high priestess. For Taurus, clarify the high priestess. For Taurus, it is clarified with the world. 
So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Taurus. Clarify the world for Taurus. Clarify the world for Taurus. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Taurus, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Now Taurus, first off, you can tell me you have a great deal of love here and you're wanting to come in and explain. Taurus, you're using your intuition on whether or not you should come back around again and get their attention. Taurus, you can tell me that something was brought to your attention and you're using your intuition that you need to close out this cycle with this person. So I need to know if you're coming or going. Are you coming or leaving, Taurus? Taurus, you have the four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Taurus, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the four of swords. For Taurus, clarify the four of swords. For Taurus, clarify the four of swords. For Taurus, it is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. And this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, Taurus, you can tell me you suspect something happened while traveling or you kept a secret concerning something that happened while traveling. Taurus, you may be considering traveling. You can tell me that we got, we're stagnant, we're on a break, so I just want to leave. You can tell me that... We're on a break. We're stagnant. I just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. However, you can tell me, yes, we are stagnant, stationary here. But I'm meditating, and maybe we can put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Maybe you want to come in and express yourself and explain yourself. Taurus, you have the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Taurus, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Clarify the two of swords for Taurus. Clarify the two of swords for Taurus. Clarify the two of swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the seven of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options. 
but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Now, Taurus, you can tell me that you're blocking them because you're blocking them because lies and illusions or the fact that they had other options. Or Taurus, you're indecisive and you're needing to make a choice here. Like I said, it could be you wanting to come in and, you know, get back with this person. Just meditating on it. Taurus, you have the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. Travel, travel, travel. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Taurus, clarify the chariot. For Taurus, clarify the chariot. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now Taurus, are you guarding something that happened while traveling? Are you suspicious of them concerning something that happened while traveling? Taurus, you can tell me that, you know what, you don't trust them at all. And you're just wanting to move forward, Taurus. Blocking them and just moving forward. Taurus, you could also tell me that is you wanting to express yourself, explain yourself. You want to move forward with this person, okay? And you're going to be determined to do so and persistent in doing so, Taurus. And the reason why I keep pointing back that it could be you is because you can tell me that, man, I'm using my intuition on whether or not I should get their attention so that we can start a new cycle, close out this old cycle, start a new cycle. Yes, we're stagnant, but I'm meditating on how to put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. And the only way we can do that is if I come in and express myself, explain myself. Who, Taurus? I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Taurus. You guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. The links are in the description. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, access granted, social media, fake profile, hiding. Access granted, social media, fake profile, hiding. Okay. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? And it says, journal, writing, diary, keeping notes. Journal, writing, diary, keeping notes. Fake profile, keeping notes. Are you under investigation? Taurus, you need to know this right now for April the 4th through April the 5th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.